Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use XSplit Broadcaster with a green screen and making it so simple you won't even have time to finish that Red Bull. But before anything else, my name is T Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and here is a shortcut guide to using a chroma green screen with your XSplit Broadcaster program. And if you're one of those that uses OBS Studio and you want me to make you one of these, don't forget, all you have to do is like this episode and ask for it down below in the comments and I will make you one. These are very easy and very fun to make. And on to the demonstration of how to do it with XSplit Broadcaster. Welcome to my desktop. This is XSplit Broadcaster. The first thing you need to do is select your source. So you go to the sources menu, then you go to webcam capture card or video devices, and then you select the camera itself. Once you have placed it on the screen where you want, all you have to do is right click it. Once you right click it, you'll go to the color tab if it's already not selected, and then you'll go and we'll move this over to keying. Normally, it will be set up a little bit like this. You'll be having a green screen and freaking the hell out. Well, you don't have to freak out. Click chroma key, which makes it so much faster. Select the key color, which is usually green. It's actually the best color since we don't have that much green in our skin anyway. And then just select anti-aliasing to high. Now, obviously there's going to be some fuzzing in the picture. That's where threshold and exposure come into play. Now you can't really push the threshold too far, otherwise you'll start actually overlapping onto you, but the exposure allows you to actually adjust for everything else until it fades to black. And that's how I actually get the full black background now in each of my episodes of TQA Weekly. And all this is actually thanks to patrons of my Patreon. So if you like this episode, like it. Otherwise, dislike it. Share with those that you think can benefit from this. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the show. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at askatqaweekly.com or go to my website, tqaweekly.com for everything else. And if you want to help me make this show better, go to my Patreon at patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today. Patrons get these episodes 24 hours in advance of everyone else. Thank you for watching and have a great day.